Hello, my name is Miguel Hernández and this is the Digitally Competent Educational Organizations course organized by the INTEF. In this video, I would like to talk about the challenge you will have to perform in the first unit. In this unit, we want you to work together with other course participants in order to carry out an ethnographic exploratory research of an educational organization. You will use the information you gather to carry out a future analysis and to design proposals for improving the use of digital resources in an educational organization. We will analyze the collected information taking into account the seven key elements mentioned by the European Framework for Digitally Competent Educational Organizations and focus on the situation of the school, on the opportunities for improvement and on the aspects that cannot be uh, changed as well as on the barriers we will have to overcome. In order to make your task easier, we will be providing guidance on where and what you should be observing and also resources and suggestions for gathering information. This is a key stage in the creation of the digital school plan. The school digital plan will be the tool to transform a school into a digitally competent educational organization by means of a shared vision on the type of the school we want, of an analysis of the current state and of the roadmap to achieve the desired goal. The roadmap should include the measures that need to be implemented, the necessary resources, and the persons in charge of the implementation. The DICCOMP org European framework deals with the efficient use of digital technologies for a better learning process. It does not deal with the use of these technologies for administrative procedures in schools. In this course, collaborative work is essential in order to design a plan suitable of being implemented in an educational organization. Working side by side with other colleagues, you will be able to design a much more useful plan than if you work on your own. Remember to share your work on the social interaction platforms and to participate in the conversations that arise there. This is just another way to develop a sense of community by means of creating shared knowledge. 